Hey everybody, it's David out here on Korea on week 33. And uh, this week started out a little bit cloudy, a little bit overcast. But pretty well that carried on throughout the week. There's a couple of days where it's supposed to rain pretty hard. And uh, as you can see later in this video, we got a little bit of that. Uh, this week started out fairly warm temperatures. Things have settled out for the most part. Still low 50s in the morning, but by the mid-afternoon it's been getting into the 70s. Some of the days are in the 60s, but mostly warmed up um, where it's almost pleasant outside. Uh, some days you wake up and you're like, okay, awesome, going to be a nice warm day. And then you look out the window and you can see how polluted the air is. And you just know, uh, well, it's not going to be as great as a day as you thought. And this day was no exception, uh, pretty thick with fog. So it was a good day to stay inside and work on some drawings and, and keep myself occupied while indoors. And then a couple of days later, still pretty polluted, but uh, not as bad as it had been. So when the weekend came, I had to run some errands and... Uh, this was uh, Saturday, I think, and that's when the rain started coming down. And looking at the forecast, it looked like it was pretty well going to be just rainy all day long. And sure enough, that's exactly what it was. So uh, I took the time to uh, go to one of the stores that I needed to go to. My lovely wife and uh, daughter needed a couple of things. Um, so I went to go see if I could find some some of the items. So I went to the the store that I usually go to. It's called the Panda Mart, and it's kind of like the dollar store of um, this area. And I got a bunch of cool stuff there, a bunch of, a bunch of everything you can possibly think of. Just kind of like a Walmart, but a, a little bit cheaper. So I grabbed a couple of things I needed. Um, they had some really cheap tools there, kind of Harbor Freight um, quality tools. So sometimes I'll get something if I just need a, a one-time tool or just something that you're not really reliant on. I'll, I'll pick something up from there. But I always take a little extra time just to peruse the store and see if there's anything that I can't live without. It's, a, like I said, a pretty cool store, and sometimes I just need to kill some time and uh, help the time pass a little bit. Um, the, the time I got left out here is getting shorter and shorter, but it doesn't necessarily get easier and easier as time goes on. I've heard it compared to, you know, people will say, oh, well, you're over the hill now, and that would kind of imply that the rest of this is just an easy stroll all the way down, but I compare it more to like a, a rope climb. Um, at the halfway point, and a little over now, but it's still very hard to get to that last stretch. And uh, you know that the end is in sight, but it's uh, it doesn't make it any easier. It just makes it a little bit harder to to know that the journey's shorter, but you still have quite a bit of strength to, to go to make it all the way to the top. And then um, once you're at the top and you're done, then the slide down is very, very easy, um, as opposed to being on a hill where halfway you just start coasting. It's a uh, rope climb is probably um, a little bit more accurate of an analogy to use for her being away from family and, and being gone for so long. Um, it doesn't really get easier at any point. You just uh, have a more fierce determination to make it to the end, and you need that fierce determination to have the strength to make it all the way. But uh, nonetheless, uh, still trying to find things to pass the time and, and trying to make it through here. Sundays are always the hardest. Sundays um, I have a lot of time to sit and reflect. I try to keep my mind occupied as much as possible or else I'll just sit around and think about home too much and, and miss family a little bit too much. So uh, Sundays Sundays are still the hardest day for sure, but usually I'll go to church and, and try to pass the time and feel a little bit better by the end of the day. Uh, this day I decided I'd treat myself since it was Saturday. Uh, I've been eating pretty healthy throughout most of the week and on Saturdays I try to treat myself just a little bit and let myself get a little bit off kilt for, uh, for my standard eating. And so this time I decided to get a Korean corn dog and I don't know what Korean corn dogs, what makes them so different, but these were really, really good. And a lady asked if I wanted sugar and I said, sure. So she put sugar on top of this. So it's the first time I've had a corn dog with sugar on it, but um, it was actually really, really good. Uh, the, you can see the, the dough around the outside, the breading on it puffs up quite a bit. It almost tastes like a funnel cake with that sugar on it. It was really good. Uh, later that evening on Saturday, uh, I got invited out with a couple of people from work to go meet up and kind of have a little social gathering. So we ended up going to this Brazilian restaurant that I had been to once before, and I think I even put it in the video, but it was really, really good. And um, there I was able to get some uh, some Brazilian food, which is usually like a peri-peri sauce um, on chicken or shrimp or whatever it is that you want to order. And so I ended up getting a half chicken and then some prawns also. And uh, it turned out really, really good and they give you a little side salad with it and surprise and serve it on this huge cutting board. So a little extravagant, but really good. Now, Sunday started off very cloudy, very overcast, 
and the skies just kind of look ominous. I don't think I've seen the sun in a couple of days now, just because the uh, the weather has definitely changed a little bit. But it's been sprinkling a little bit, but nothing compared to the day before. So I decided to get some shopping done at the at the grocery store. And every time I go to the grocery store, I can't help but look at the plants in the front. And I've got enough plants at my place now that I probably don't need any more. But I still look just in case I want to get something. But I uh, forgo the plants um, for this day and probably for the next couple of shopping trips to the, to the grocery store. But I ended up getting a couple of items that I needed. I used to fill up a whole shopping cart and then I'd realize I'm not eating everything that I'm putting in the shopping cart. So now I kind of restrict myself to just one basket. And if I need to make another trip in the week, I can do so. But uh, one shopping basket, um, handheld basket, seems to do the trick. I've got a couple of kombuchas for my gut health. This seemed to help a lot with uh, sometimes, especially eating out at the, the place I did, at the, um, the, in the Brazilian place with food that I'm normally not eating. It, nice to have something to kind of clean you out got some some chickens that i usually eat for lunch and uh, meal prep and then i also got some garbanzo beans which i end up making that later today and then i'll probably put those in the next video and got me some soy milk and a couple of drinking yogurts and uh also got some greek yogurt like i said been eating those during the during the mornings early in the day i decided before i went to church to make a loaf of bread i haven't made a loaf of bread in a, quite a while and one of the favorite loaves that I like just decided to uh, or decided I like to make the most and seems to be the most flavorful is this cranberry pistachio bread. And so I made a loaf of that and uh, it turned out really, really good as always. Uh, the bread maker that my uh, father-in-law got me just wonderful. I love using that thing. So I had to go into work for uh, run a quick errand and talk to a couple of people. So I ended up slicing some of that up and then taking it into work and it seemed like everybody liked it. Um, yeah, it looked pretty. It looked pretty tasty, and from the looks of it, it looks like they enjoyed it too. So I was happy to share that with somebody else. And I also got a uh, box from Dad, and since I was going into work, I took some of this stuff in there, especially the uh, the hot sauces. But Dad sent a bag of Julio's chips, and if you're from Texas, you know Julio's. And I ate pretty well, right about half the bag, and then decided that was probably as much as I needed to eat that day. So I ended up putting it in the uh, the cupboard, and I'll probably attack those later. And that's about it for this video. Uh, kind of a slow week due to the rain. wasn't really able to get out a whole lot, but once the rain finally did stop, um, I noticed that some of these bushes right outside where I live have started growing these really pretty flowers on it, and it's just wonderful to see that kind of stuff, so I thought I'd throw it in the video. But thanks, everybody, for watching, and God bless you all. And uh, if you're at work watching this, you know who you are. Get back to work.